Hey guys, Green Guitar Guy here and welcome to a quick tutorial on building a fully automatic chicken cooker. Now it's pretty compact and very easy to build, but before we get going I just want to give quick credit to Azumavoid for the original design. Now if you're wondering why you should even continue watching this video, well I have made some changes to the design, just some things that work a little bit better for me in a survival world. Now first off, I've added the option to gather either cooked chicken for eating or raw chicken so that you could trade with villagers. Now down below here, I've added a little uh, switch to change it from chicken mode to egg collecting mode, um, which would be helpful if you need like eggs for playing a prank for a friend on your server. Um, and you also may want to leave it in that mode in the beginning just to gather more eggs if you need uh, more cedar chickens up top there. Uh, so with that all out of the way, kick back, get comfortable, and let's get on with the build. So to start things off, we're going to place down our chest, and then on the back side, by pressing shift, we're going to place a hopper going into that chest, and then one more hopper going into that. That second hopper is going to be just for collecting eggs. So then we will move to just uh, whatever your regular uh, block that you're going to use for building this farm. Uh, I am using quartz and we are going to place down uh, six quartz. It is a uh, six by three footprint so we'll just fill in the bottom here like that. And right there and we're going to leave this one block open and uh, place a redstone repeater facing into this block right here and we'll put a lever on the front here so whenever the lever is on it is powering this block which will lock this hopper so eggs won't be able to pass through this hopper and they will uh, they will be dispensed but if uh, if the lever's off it'll allow the eggs to flow uh, freely into this hopper and then into the chest. All right, now for the redstone part of the build. We are going to take a dispenser, make sure it is a dispenser and not a dropper, and you're gonna place it on top of that uh, second hopper there. And then we are going to take a redstone comparator and put it right there. And then a repeater coming out from there. And then redstone going around like this. And we are going to place the uh, comparator into subtract mode. So what this does is this actually creates a little clock whenever there's an item here in the dispenser. It'll send a pulse through. And then we're going to put some redstone coming around this way. And a redstone repeater right here. And then we will take our uh, building block and place that here, here, and there. And right alongside like that. So uh, that pulse will also be sent along this channel and into this block, which will cause the dispenser to fire out the egg. For the next layer, we're going to come over and place a dispenser here. For, that one will be for water. And then another dispenser here. That one will be for lava. And then we will take a half slab and we will place that on top of the hopper there. Now that will keep the baby chickens uh, just under the lava, but uh, when, the, when they grow up into adults, they will uh, be just into the lava and get cooked. And the half slab still allows the drops to fall down into the hopper and go into the chest, so that's great. Then we're going to move over here with the hopper, and we're going to place that on top of this dispenser and then two more behind that. So you'll have three hoppers right there. Then come around with your building block, whoops, and just build that, just fill that in right around like that. Whoops, don't get the hopper. And you can finish that off right like that. Now for the next layer, just a whole bunch of building blocks. We're just gonna keep filling in around this like that. And add those in, and then one more layer on top of that. And it should look something like that, like that from the front. All right, now we're going to come up here to the top part, and uh, we're going to take carpet, and we're going to place those on the hopper there. This is where the cedar chickens are going to hang out and drop their eggs down through, and uh, that'll just help to keep them from glitching through quite as much. Um, then we're going to take a uh, piece of glass and we're going to put that right there. Now that'll be the 
block right above the dispenser. It'll keep your cedar chickens from falling through into the lava and getting all burned up. And then uh, just a couple of pieces of glass on the front there just to kind of make things pretty and also to make sure your chickens don't get shot out because, uh, yeah, you want to make sure that they stay in there. All right, so you come back up here to the top and just fill in with a couple more blocks. You can leave one open uh, just to fill up your uh, farm with cedar chickens. I'm finding that between 30 and 40 chickens seems to be enough for me uh, to keep a constant flow of food. So you can fill that up once you get 30 or 40 in there and then, uh, then just block it right up like that. So just a few more finishing details. Um, I added buttons to the front here along with the signs. This is going to be the, uh, the raw chicken side and this is going to be the cooked chicken side. So I'll come over here to this dispenser and I will add a bucket of water. And I will go over to this one and add a bucket of lava. So whenever I press this button, it will turn on the lava. And if I want raw chicken, I will turn that side off and turn the water side on. So we're gonna we're gonna leave it in cooked mode right now. Make sure that you don't press both of those buttons at the same time, or you will have a block of obsidian sitting in there, which is no fun for anyone. Um, last thing you want to add is a sign for eggs or chicken. So up in this mode, the eggs will just come straight down into your chest. Great for practical jokes and stuff like that. Or if you want uh, if you want chicken, then uh, then there it is. Well, that's all I've got for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give her a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Thumbs, subs, and comments are always appreciated. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you later. Bye-bye.